okay so your question is uh, what is the nature and location of consciousness right you see uh, when we talk about nature and location of consciousness firstly let's be uh, clear about consciousness because uh, many people are mistaken about consciousness but what you are referring to is actually the pure consciousness consciousness means you are conscious of something your thinking your emotions your imaginations everything put together this is a normal consciousness but there is one more consciousness which we may call pure consciousness which is devoid of any thinking process the whole mechanism of thinking is not there in the pure consciousness it is the consciousness of nothing there is no thing so this is what pure consciousness is so the mind or the whole thinking mechanism you say it involves thinking your imagination your dreaming everything okay so this is a normal state of consciousness right so it is located in some other dimension the simple consciousness but as far as pure consciousness is concerned this is non special it is not located anywhere there is a misconception that consciousness is located inside the body it is there inside the body if that was the case if this is true then we cannot experience the things outside of it outside the body if the consciousness is inside the body this is the total misconception pure consciousness is not located anywhere either outside the body or inside the body there is no sense of inside or outside it is non special it is non temporal this pure consciousness does not know anything it does not know any place it does not know any event it is free basically it is free of time and space so its most important quality of pure consciousness is freedom it is absolute freedom it is absolutely free of anything this is what pure consciousness is so its nature is freedom and there is no location of it but there is one thing about this pure consciousness because of this i am not defining what is that what is pure consciousness where does it live because it is non temporal it is non special so we cannot say anything about it normally but because of this element this eternal element pure consciousness everything else happens because of it so this is the causeless cause of everything which lord krishna says in bhagavad gita adikaran adikaran means the causeless cause so pure consciousness is the causeless cause there is no location of pure consciousness but it is there okay not in the sense that it is there somewhere no okay so how can we know it 
we cannot know it by any means but one can have insight of the pure consciousness insight is quite a different thing it is not a normal observation the normal knowing in the normal knowing what takes place there is a knower and there is something to be known and there is a process of knowing okay so there is a knower the thing which is known and the knowledge or the process of knowing okay so these three things are there in the normal knowing but in the insight insight is not out of time so there could be an insight of pure consciousness right so as far as uh, your question is concerned the nature if you ask me about the nature of uh, this consciousness this pure consciousness so the nature is its freedom it is a free element it does not know anything whatsoever and location i have just explained it is non special it is non temporal right 